We now know more details about emergency rules the state wants to put in place at the Kaneohe Sandbar. KITV4 broke the story yesterday that Sandbar is a popular hangout in Windward, Oahu. The state is proposing a safety zone during weekends and state holidays. Alcohol and disorderly conduct would be banned in the area. The land board takes up the proposal this Thursday, and if approved, the new rules could go into effect almost immediately. The board gives me the approval. We walk it over to the lieutenant governor. The lieutenant governor signs it. And upon the lieutenant governor signing it, it becomes a rule for the next 120 days. There have been a number of alcohol-related problems over the years. In 2009, several fights broke out and one man was reportedly stabbed. One boater recalled watching a man who was drunk do a backflip in the shallow water, injuring his neck. And in the past, there have been conflicts with jet skiers and swimmers. And the most recent alcohol-related brawl took place just this past Memorial Day holiday. 26-year-old Noden Maka Torres died after a fight that started at the sandbar and ended at Heia Pier. KITV4's Catherine Cruz broke this story. She joins us now from the newsroom. Catherine? Well, you know, Laura, it may be too late for Torres, but his family and friends told KITV tonight that they think the emergency rules are a good idea for the safety of all. Friends and relatives of Maka Torres are still grieving. They say it's sad things had to get to this point. Uh, everything that we feared was going to happen did happen. Earlier this month, Shalimar Silva took part in a vigil for Torres calling for an end to alcohol-related violence when his friend was still on life support. He's all for the emergency rules for the sake of public health and safety. From people getting hurt, it has just escalated to what we really didn't want to see, and that's losing somebody. And, you know... Maybe we should try it this way. Silva has been out at the sandbar when it's been peaceful and when things have been out of control. He worries about enforcement, but is all for using Torres' death as an example to spare others the grief his family is going through. Prosecutors decided not to prosecute the case after witnesses say that Torres threw the first punch and that the other man was defending himself. The medical examiner's office found both alcohol and cocaine in Torres' system. A change needs to happen, definitely. Um, People need to take responsibilities for their actions while out there. And I think we just need to come together as a whole and, you know, make a change, make a difference. Friends of the Torreses are considering testifying at the land board meeting in favor of the emergency rules. Now, the state is expected to release more details about exactly how the safety zone is going to be enforced, how they're going to work it out at Thursday's meeting. We're told the staff is working on how to get the boys in place, and once the rules are signed off on, the restrictions could be in place by the 4th of July holiday. Reporting from the newsroom, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.